Hello everyone, good day. Today we're excited to present to you the first part of our discussion, focusing on the personal health under PED 1 to 1, personal, community, and environmental health. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Novishin de la Cruz, together with my groupmates, Roger Tomo, I.C. Esteron, Althea Tijada, Angelica Cavison, Estefanio Rindon, Josh Silva, Caril Felipe, Christine Dayot, Ralph Pahimolin, Suzanne Sikat, and Christian Sienda. But before we proceed to our proper discussion, let us read first the objectives. At the end of this lesson, the student should be able to A. Define health and identify its multidimensional nature. B. Analyze factors contributing to health inequity. And C. Propose strategies for promoting health equity. At this moment, we will having a motivational activity. What you are going to do is to guess the picture. You are only given 10 seconds to guess the picture. Are you ready? Okay, let us see the first picture. It's drag user. Now, let us see the second picture. The correct answer is stress. Next, let us see the third picture. Yes, the correct answer is alcohol abuse. Okay, thank you so much. And now, let us proceed to the first discussion, which will be presented to you by Mr. Roger Tomo. So at this moment, let's talk about what is good health. Good health refers to a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being. It is not just the absence of diseases or infirmity, but also to cope with everyday stressors and maintain a balanced lifestyle. For a short, good health, it is all about how you're going to cope with everyday stressor and maintain a balanced lifestyle. So, in 1986, the World Health Organization made further clarification, a resource for everyday life, not the objective of living. Health is a positive concept emphasizing social and personal resources as well as physical capacities. There are two types of health. We have mental health and physical health. When we talk about mental, it is all about our um, emotions, our stress and problems that related to our intellectual well-being. And when we talk about physical, it is all about our physical health, our appearance, our physical, and it's not just talk about our physical, but also um, on how we're going to manage or balance our physical health and on what, how we're going to accept our physical health and overall well-being. So, in conclusion, engaging in healthy habits such as eating fruits and vegetables, exercising moderately, and getting enough rest can boost our immune system lower the risk of chronic diseases, improve mental health, and enhance our productivity and happiness. Remember, in good health is an investment in our results in our future. So that's why we need to take care of ourselves right now because um, pag hindi tayo healthy, hindi natin magagawa yung mga bagay na gusto natin. Hindi natin mag-achieve yung mga goals or mga dreams natin kapag wala tayong good health. That's all and thank you for listening going to tackle about physical health. Being physically fit and healthy can decrease the risk of diseases. So, a person who has good physical health have bodily functions. So, ano nga ba yung bodily functions? Yung bodily functions, ito yung natural na nangyayari sa katawan natin. Like for example, ang pagtaay or pag-ihi. 
alam mo na may problema ka sa physical health mo kapag hindi normal yung pagtae mo. Like for example, may almoranas ka. Alam mo na, dyan pa lang, malalaman mo na talaga na may something wrong sa physical health mo. Kasi hindi siya normal, masakit siya. So kapag may UTI, may UTI ka naman, yan din kadalasang nangyayari kapag hindi or kapag sumusobra yung yung kain mo ng mga unhealthy foods. So number two, regular exercise, balanced nutrition, and adequate rest all, all continue to good health. So in order to maintain, in order to maintain being physically fit, you need to regular exercise, balanced nutrition, and adequate rest all continue to good health. So need mo meron ka talagang Um, meron ka talagang discipline sa sarili mo. Like for example, kailangan mo mag-exercise. Kailangan mo ng enough na nutrition para sa katawan mo. At kailangan katamtama na talaga yung kinakain mo. Hindi sobra, hindi kulang. Katamtama. So, people receive medical treatment to maintain the balance. Di ba pansin niyo sa mga artista, in order para i-maintain nila yung magandang katawan nila, yung health nila, kailangan pa nila mag-seek ng professional health. Kailangan nila mag-seek ng professional health, health para at least matulungan sila. Maintaining physical fitness. So you need to maintain your physical fitness. Kailangan mong exercise, kailangan mong mag-diet, kailangan mong kumain ng mga nutritious food. So, ito naman, next naman, ang itatakal natin is, is mental health. Physical and mental health have strong connections. A mental health Ill- illness such as depression or anorexia, anorexia can affect body weight and overall function. So, like for example, if meron kang depression, di ba, naaapektuhan yung physical health natin. Kasi kapag may problema ka, kapag stress ka, kapag may anxiety ka, may mga tao talagang hindi kumakain. May mga tao din na stress, stress, tapos may mga tao din na kapag may problema sa so may depression sila, nang parang nag stress eating talaga sila. So, if may problema yung mental mo, kapag may depression ka, maaapektuhan yung physical health mo. Kasi yung physical and mental health, meron silang strong connections. May connect talaga sila sa isa't isa. It is important to approach health as a whole rather than as a series of separate factors. All types of health are linked and people should aim for overall well-being and balance as the key to good health. So, kailangan talaga natin i-treasure lahat ng health. Physical health, mental health, Um, spiritual health, kahit anong health pa yan, because it is very important to maintain our physical and mental health. Kasi tayo, tayo din talaga yung mahihirapan. So kapag mayroong mga may sakit sa yon, hindi ka talaga, hindi ka talaga, hindi ka talaga makakapangsyon ng maayos yung katawan ng head. So kailangan nating alagaan yung ating physical health, kailangan nating alagaan yung ating mental health. Kasi kahit gaano ka karaming pera, kung may sakit ka, it's useless. So that's all for today and I hope may natutunan kayo sa report ko. Thank you! Environmental factors Environmental factors for good health include clean air, water, sanitation, self-living conditions, Access to nutrients, food, physical activity, friendly environment, social support networks, and access to healthcare services. These factors include surroundings, lifestyle, diet, exposure to pollutants, social economics conditions, and more. Good health is influenced by factors like eating nutritious food, exercising regularly, getting enough sleep, managing stress, staying hydrated, maintaining social connections, avoiding harmful substances. So, I am Christine Barandayat and I'm the one to tackle the social, economic, and physical environment. 
So the next slide is the social and economic environment. So this may include the financial of a family or community. As well, the social culture of quality of relationships. So, when we say financial of a family, it includes the in income of your family, assets, or how financially stable yung family mo. Pwedeng ang status nyo ay pwedeng nasa low, average, or high yung finan financial state nyo. So, when we say the community naman, uh, pwedeng um, ang community community nyo is very progressive. Meron kasing mga community na hindi okay ang kanilang community status. It is because masyadong malayo or nagde-depend yun sa mga leaders na namumuno sa kanilang community. The next one is the social culture. This may include our cultural norms, values, beliefs, and societal expectations. So, this can shape our families. So, di ba, nasi-shape or na-influence nito yung the way how we can act uh, as an individual in our society or in our community. The next one is the physical environment. So, this may include which germs exist in an area as well as the pollution. So, di ba, di ba if yung community natin is prone sa maduming surroundings or it can cause or merong basura so it can cause high risk in our health it is because pwede siya maging cause of uh, sakit dahil sa nilalangaw siya and also uh, pollution na makukuha natin through the air it is because of the our modernization and technology Marami ng factories ang pinapatayo and that smoke na binubuga niya is risky for our health. So, hello everyone. This is the continuation of our report. So, my topic is all about social factors. So, social factors may also impact on the risk of poor health for people with lower sex such as marginalization and discrimination. So, social factors refers to the various elements of society that influence individuals' thoughts, behaviors, and actions. So, for example, meron kang kaibigan na meron visual like materialistic, mahilig gumastos, like bili ng ganto, bili ng ganyan. So, maaapektuhan ka din dahil palagi na kayong nagsasama. Kaya parang may impluensyahan ka na niya. Yun yung one example ng social factors. So, another example naman is, kunwari, negative siya mag-isip. So, maa-adapt mo na din ito, kaya every time din na may problema ka, parang magiging negative thinker ka na din, or parang magiging pessimistic ka na din. Dahil, kunwari, nag ka sa kanya ng, ano, ng problem mo, then, ma mag a siya, tapos sasabihin niya na parang wala nang solution dun sa problema mo dahil ano nga, like negative thinker siya, so may isip mo na din na ay, ayun, wala na talagang solution, kaya mas stress ka, dahil kakaisip mo dun sa problema mo na, problema mo na dinadagdagan niya din na parang ano, parang sinasabi niya na ano na, wala na talagang solution dun sa problema mo Kaya, yun ay tinatawag na pessimistic. So, that's the examples of social factors. Cultural issues can affect health, the traditions and customs of a society, and families' response to them can have a good or bad impact on health. Cultural issues is encompass conflicts, misunderstandings, or tensions stemming from differences in beliefs, values, norms, behaviors, and practices among individuals or groups from diverse cultural backgrounds. So, for example, is in other culture, one of their family is nagkasakit, then mas piniprefer na lang nila na herbal yung gagamitin na gamot. Then, sa iba naman is mas pinipreferred talaga nila na kapag nagkasakit ka is dalin ka sa hospital or sa malapit na clinic. 
that's the one example of cultural issues. So, another example naman is, if you are a bad jaw, is like, minamaliit ka na nila, dahil yan yung tribo mo, then, parang, ano, chinichismis ka nila lang, e, bad, bad jaw, ganun. Kaya, ano, parang wala ka lang sa kanila, parang, dinidisrespect ka din nila. Dahil, di perket bad jaw ka, is, ginaganon-ganon ka na lang. So, another example naman is, for example, meron kang friends na Muslim, then kumain ka sa harap nila ng baboy. So, parang dinidisrespect mo na din sila dahil alam mo na bawal, pero kumain ka pa din. Parang wala kang ano, wala kang respeto sa kanila. Yan is another example ng cultural issues. So, another example naman is, kunwari, in-invite kayo ng kaklase nyo dahil birthday niya. Then, meron kayong isang kaklase na blaad. So, nilalait-lait nila dahil hindi maayos yung pananamit. Then, kaya, dinidiscriminate na nila kaagad. Dahil di perket sila ay nakabihis ng maayos. Then, yung klas kaklase mo na blaan is parang simple lang kasi yun yung kinag kinawian na nila. Yun yung example ng cultural issues. Preserving health. The best way to maintain health is to preserve it through a helpful lifestyle rather than waiting until sickness or infirmity to address health problems. The word infirmity or also known as physical or mental weakness. So going back to preserve it through a helpful lifestyle rather than waiting until sickness. It means if we adopt healthy lifestyle including balanced nutrition, regular exercise, and stress management, it can significantly contribute to overall well-being and reduce the risk of various health issues. Health inequity refers to avoidable differences in health between different groups of people. So health inequity also refers to disparities in health outcomes between different populations, often linked to socio-economic status, race, ethnicity, gender, or geographical location. These disparities can result in unequal access to health care services. To understand health inequity, we must examine its root cause factors such as poverty, discrimination, and lack of health insurance contribute um, significantly to, the, to disparities in health care access and outcomes. So as we reflect on the complexity of health inequity, it's um, ev evident that achieving health inequity requires a collective effort by acknowledging the barriers and implementing exclusive strategies. Um, we can more closer to future where everyone has the opportunity to thrive. So next are the examples of health inequity. Number one example is lower life expectancy. Average life expectancy can dramatically depending on the region a person is born in. Socioeconomic background has a huge influence on this. So life expectancy is simply refers to the number of years a person is expected to live. Life expectancy is the estimated average age that a member of a particular population will be when they die. So it is very understandable that the lower life expectancy is having a poor life expectancy. If you are in a remote areas, you are likely to have a lower lifespan. For example, you were born in Africa. You are expected to have a lower life expectancy of only 550 years, I mean. Because people who is born in Africa is most to experience extreme poverty, hunger, high level of illiteracy, and lack of access to quality medical care. They have lack of resources 
and equipments for medical care. That's why they most likely to suffer from diseases. And also due to extreme poverty, they suffer hunger and dehydration. So most likely a children who is born in this country will suffer until they die. And additionally, Africa is one of the most overpopulated country in the world. Number two example is the higher rates of mental ill health. Inequality can also lead to chronic stress which affects both mental and physical health. Mental illness is also called mental health disorders. It refers to a wide range of mental health conditions that affects your mood, thinking, and behavior. Examples of mental illness include depression, anxiety disorders, eating disorders, and addictive behaviors. Example is depression. Nowadays, depression is a common mental illness that teenagers like us mostly suffer. Depression is not a joke. It is a very serious thing that many of us secretly experience. As a student, we all know that being in front of the audience makes us nervous. We all know that some of us are afraid of being in front and I'm one of those. Our fear is to speak in front of our classmates and teachers as we are afraid that our classmates would make fun of us or laugh at the way we deliver our report. That's why most of us stresses themselves to make their reports because they overthink things like what if I stutter or what if I cry during the reporting because of nervous. And many more what if that leads to a student to get anxious and scared. So, difficulty getting health care. Bias, prejudice, and discrimination can lead to delays in diagnosis and treatment. Certain groups may also have difficulty being believed or taken seriously by doctors. Example is rich versus poor. Sa panahon ngayon, kapag wala kang pera, di ka online or di ka talaga i-cater. So, for example, magpapa-opera ka, pero sabi ng doktor, kailangan mong mag-down ng ganitong amount. Pero dahil nga wala kang pera, so ang mangyayari dyan is di ka operahan kasi may mga doctors talaga or hospital na bago ka operahan or bago ka i-admit, kailangan mo munang magbayad. So, advantage na lang talaga sa mga may pera yung pera nila kasi kahit anong oras, kaya talaga nilang magbagamot. So, dyan napapasok yung bias and discrimination can lead to delay in diagnosis and treatment. So, next is preventable death. Health inequity cause preventable death. There are many examples of this but one of the clearest Example is the difference between infant health and mortality among black and white babies born in the U.S. For example, dito is nasa bundok yung bahay nyo, tapos malayo yung center, tapos problema pa ang transportation. So magiging limitado talaga yung access mo sa prenatal care at hindi ka pa makakakuha ng regular check-up. So, hindi tulad ng mga nagbubuntis dito sa city or yung bahay ay malapit sa center. Kasi sila, nabibigyan sila ng tamang prenatal care at nakakakuha sila ng regular, regular check-up. So, what are the root causes of health inequity? So, the root causes of health inequity happens because of things like how much money you have, where you live, discrimination, how you behave, and how... You can get to a doctor when you need to. To fix it, we need to help people who are poor, improve our education, stop unfair treatment, and make sure everyone can see a doctor, and lastly, encourage healthy habits for everyone. Yeah. So, there are factors of root causes. Ay, mali. Factors. lang, girl. Factors. Wait lang. Wait lang. So these are the factors of health inequity. Health inequity or unfair def unfair? Unfair. Shh, shh, shh. 
<laughs> Wait lang. Health inequity or unfair differences in health outcomes between different groups happens because of many things. Number one is socioeconomic status, social determinants of health, systemic discrimination, geographical disparities, health behaviors, and healthcare access. But we can fix this problem. We need to take a big step by poverty reduction, education improvement, discrimination, elimination, healthcare access, expansion, and promotion of healthy behaviors. By working on these areas, we can make sure everyone has a fair chance at good health, no matter who they are or where they live. Health inequity has significant consequences for individual and communities affecting by it. When we say health inequity, is hindi pagkapantay-pantay. In a cycle of disadvantages and health inequality resulting health outcomes and reduced quality of life. So let's proceed to the what is the impact of health inequity to our society. First example is makes it more difficult to contain and treat infection diseases. So, nowadays, people experiencing health inequities often have limited access to healthcare services, including preventive care and treatments. Next is increased level of crime and violence across community. It can be served as a negative impact on individual and society. Here are a few potential reasons. First, you might social economic factors, drug abuse, and drug addiction. Because it can be leads a level of crime and violence across communities. Next is the fuels, alcohol, and substance misuse. Examples, living in a neighborhood and going to school with high prevalence of alcohol and drug misuse are usually risk factors. Kasi kapag nakatake ka ng drugs or alcohol, um, hindi mo alam yung magagawa mo kasi high ka sa puntong yun. Increased stress and anxiety by damaging social cohesions. It contributes to poverty and social exclusion, strains, healthcare costs, weakened social cohesions. Because, di ba kapag tayo ay napapaligiran ng mga negative impact sa ating buhay, just for example, um, sa family natin, Halimbawa, kulang tayo sa financial or problema tayo sa mga financial problem natin. Nag, nagkakaroon tayo, di ba, ng stress or anxiety. Madadamay talaga yung ating social cohesion. Decrease productivity and employment and therefore tax revenue. Here are some potential reasons that can contribute to this situation, which is yung mga unemployment and underemployment. It leads to decrease in overall productivity. Unemployment means yung mga taong kawala ng trabaho o walang trabaho. Yung underemployment naman, ito yung mga taong merong trabaho pero kulang sa trabaho kasi nga hindi nila magagamit yung abilities nila sa kanilang sariling trabaho kasi hindi ito related sa kanilang napagtapusan. Pushes 100 million people into poverty each year and prevents at least half of this world population terms getting and healthcare they need. Because the limited access to essential healthcare services. So now, we are on the last part of our discussion, which is the health equity. Once again, I am Novishin de la Cruz, your presenter for this topic. Okay, what have you learned about the discussion earlier? Since health inequity is all about unfair, unjust, or avoidable when it comes to providing or distribution of health resources and services, opportunities and outcomes in a particular populations or groups. Health equity is the opposite of health inequity. It is a system that supports a high standard of health and health care for all people. 
Health equity is the concept of everyone having a fair and just opportunity to be as healthy as possible. It implies that individuals or communities with different levels of health or in different social or economic circumstances should have the same chances to achieve their full health potential. Say for example, Imagine a healthcare system where all individuals, regardless of their socioeconomic status, race, or geographical location, have equal access to quality healthcare services. In this scenario, health equity is achieved when everyone has the same opportunity to attain and maintain good health. In summary, health equity is the goal of providing equal opportunities for good health to everyone, while health inequity denotes the unjust and avoidable disparities in health outcomes or access to resources among different groups. Achieving health equity involves addressing the root causes of health disparities and ensuring that all individuals have a fair chance to lead healthy lives. That concludes our topic. Thank you for listening. We hope that you've learned something from us. Thank you.